Hi, it's Debbie Nicholson speaking, and we're on to day 29. Isn't that exciting? And today I'm in a whole new location. I decided, well, we've got a family meeting for my mum later on, and my poor husband, he's been running up and down the motorway so many times since she's been in hospital. And I said, well, maybe I could go and spend the day at the library, and then he only has to come that little way to get me. And that way we can, we can both go and he doesn't have to be doing all that extra mileage. So I thought that was a good idea. So here I am at our Porirua Public Library and I'm in the genealogy section. Although I'm not doing genealogy today. I'm actually talking to you. And then I'm going to do a few articles that I'm a little bit behind on. Um, and of course I've also got to record a couple of articles that I wrote yesterday. So and have a busy day here in this library. It's going to be great. Now today I wanted to talk to you on a little saying that I got from Kurik Ashley, that everything we did in our past is exactly what we're supposed to do. Everything that happened to us is exactly what was supposed to happen. And it's all the way it is supposed to be in order for us to become the people we are today. In order to make tomorrow better, what are you choosing to do differently today? And so I thought, well, yes, what are we doing to um, doing today to be something a little bit different. Um, you know, I I think that some of why I'm not feeling well is maybe because I haven't been able to get out for a while. And, and so when we had the notice last night for the meeting, I thought, well, I'm going out, I'm going out today. No, I'm not going to stay home because maybe that's what's wrong with me. You know, you've got to work out what's wrong with you. So you've got to do something a little bit different so that things can be different in your own life. And so that's what I'm doing differently today. I'm changing scenery. And I have a cousin that works here and she said there's plenty of PowerPoints if your computer goes off. So <laughs> I looked around and there certainly was. And then I've got to get a new book for my reading group. And so I'm going to have to do a lot of things while I'm here today. But I was thinking that everything we did in our past is exactly what we were supposed to do. You know, you are a certain character today because of what you've done in the past. I mean, I'm the sort of person I am because of what's happened in my past. And I have been through tragedy. I have been through abuse. I have been through grief. I have been through a few happy times um, and I'm sure that all of you have been the same um, and so that's all what makes you be the person you are today. I mean I've had children, I've got grandchildren, I'm getting another one soon. So I mean that all helps you grow in another direction, gives you more responsibility in another direction. I tell you what though, being a grandparent is far better than being a parent, I've decided. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, and then the other saying he said to us that everything that happened to us exactly was exactly what was supposed to happen. Now isn't that correct because we're planning our lives and even though we don't know it we are and we're bringing all of our life onto ourselves through what we think. And so that made a lot of sense to me and I thought yes I must talk to you about that today because we've got to see what we can do to improve our day so that tomorrow can be better. And then the other thing he said was it's all the way it's supposed to be in order for us to become the people we are today. Okay, so um, there's a great deal of wisdom in that saying on those three sentences. And I thought it might be nice to just point them out to you today so that you have something to think about because a lot of people blame that they can't be successful because this happened and that happened and something else. And, but you know, that's always yesterday. Don't worry about yesterday. Think today, how tomorrow's going to be far better. And so um, that's what my point is in my day 29 video is today. To, um, to ask you, what are you choosing to do today that's going to be different? Um, to make it different tomorrow. And I'm sure that you've all got your own little plans. I've got a great plan for today and I know tomorrow is going to be better because I've decided to do something else quite different tomorrow as well. And so I'm just going to leave you there and just see what you come up with in your own thoughts. Talk to you again tomorrow.